Hey, Joel. Yeah, and this location is one of several future hotels in the pipeline right now looking to come into the Cary market. And this just tells some town leaders just how strong Cary's economy and business environment is. In a town where more than 174,000 people reside, there's room for more visitors. It's funny because we moved here because we love the area and the people were so friendly and we said, oh good, we're going we're gonna to stay here. But now that people are coming in, we're like, oh gosh, look at all of this. But I guess you can't stop it. It wouldn't be a good thing. New hotels coming to carry with places like McGregor Village Shopping Center and North Harrison Avenue on the map. And certainly, uh, there's uh, a, a big need for hotels in the Cary market. Visit Raleigh's Dennis Edwards listed some key areas Cary's thriving in, from sports to businesses like Apple moving into the market. Then you have leisure travel. All of this driving the demand. Cary has done an exceptional job on business recruitment. Uh, you know, it's always the best place to live. You look at the safety, the quality of life in Cary. Uh, those are many of the same amenities that visitors look for. To Economic Development Director Ted Boyd, it's a lot of change, but not enough to shake his confidence. The fact that the hotel community is wanting to construct them and build them is definitely an indicator that there's a market for that. It used to be a bedroom community where, you know, everybody was here and then left. And now we're becoming a place that people are wanting to come to sporting events and to concerts. Um, and then want to spend um, and explore uh, new restaurants that are in um, and through our downtown, especially the downtown park as well. So and some numbers for you, the county, state and national average of hotel occupancy falls somewhere between 60 to 70 percent. But the town of Cary exceeds that, which tells developers that there's certainly a need for additional hotel rooms. Reporting in Cary, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.